Hey, this is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to use Midjourney to create a selfie. You can find a link to the video in the description below. In that video, I assumed you know the basics how to navigate and use Midjourney. Today, I am going to show you the basics of how to use Midjourney. Let's go. To get started, you need a Discord account. If you've been online for a while, you may remember the old school forums. Well, Discord is something like that, except it has uh, more features and it's a little bit more powerful and you can build bots and stuff on it. Don't get too scared of this technology. Go to discord.com and click on this login button. Click on this register link and enter all the information here to sign up. And yes, they do need your date of birth. Once you've signed up and logged into Discord, in the same browser, open a new tab and go to midjourney.com. Click the join the beta button. If you see an invite invalid screen, that's probably because you're not logged into Discord. So go get logged into Discord and go back to Midjourney. And this time click join the beta. And you'll probably be asked to accept the invite right here. Simply click on accept the invite and you'll be in. In Discord, the left here, where you see these circles, those are the servers or groups that you are in. You probably won't see as many as I have here. Either way, when you accept the invite to Midjourney, you will see this white icon with a sailboat. That's the Midjourney server. When you click on this icon, you will immediately see a ton of different information here. And when you go to one of these rooms, you will also see a lot of images and prompts that other people have created. And it's a really, really long list. Now, depending on the time of day, this feed may go really fast. Right now, it's a pretty slow time of day. So you probably see these images here for a little while. When you want to generate an image, click in the message field here and simply type forward slash. And then type imagine and you will see this come up. Click on that. And from here, you enter your prompt. The other way to trigger the image generation bot is to simply type forward slash imagine when you enter a space, it will immediately jump to the prompt and you can start entering your prompt. I must have spoken too soon because right after I told you the server is kind of quiet, a ton of images showed up. As you see here, somebody else just created an image. Sometimes you can just switch to a different room and this room might be quieter than the others. It may not be, but it just really depends on time of day and rooms. As a newbie, you will have about four rooms, I think. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been a newbie. So here's the exciting part. Let's go ahead and create an image. And the prompt I'm going to use is, and once I've entered that, I just need to hit the enter key. And it will tell me here that it's waiting to start. See, the Midjourney bot has responded to me and see, I've done lost it already, but you can see that it's waiting to start. And once it starts, you will see that the image starts generating, becoming clearer and clearer. It's making four different images of what the bot thinks that you want to create. In the few moments I have created the image, all these other images have been created. 
If it goes really fast, you can just scroll up till you find it. Or another way is to go to this inbox and click mentions and you will see where your image is created. When you click on this jump here, it will go directly to your image. If you don't like any of these images that it created for you, all you need to do is click this icon here. What this button will do is tell the AI to try again using the previous prompt. Sometimes the more often you click on this, the more accurate it becomes. Don't give up too quickly yet if you don't get what you want the first time around. All right, so we have re-rolled it once. You should see the second generation using the same prompt below. Again, you can either scroll or you can go to your inbox and hit mentions. And now you see I have two images here. I really like this one. When you find an image that you want, let's go to it. What you can do is click on one of these U buttons here. And what do these U numbers mean? Basically, U1 is this, U2 is the top right, U3 is the bottom left image, and U4 is the bottom right. When you click on U4, what it will do is generate a larger image of just this particular image for you. And again, you can either scroll down to find it or go to your inbox. And I see here that it's still waiting to start. So I can just be a little patient and wait for it to start. When you use one of these U buttons, that's called an upscale in Midjourney lingo. All right, now I see that this has been upscaled here to the right. Now, what if? Let's go back to this image here, or you can even go back to one of these here, like this one. Let's jump back to the first iteration. If I kind of like this, but I think it's still missing the mark on something. You want to basically re-roll, but you don't want to re-roll the whole four grids. You only want to re-roll this. Then you just use one of these bottom buttons. These buttons are called the V roll. V is in the letter V. And the numbers basically work the same way. One, two, three, four. Based on this, I want to V roll the third grid here. So I'm clicking on that. When you click on head, normally you won't see this remix prompt. I only see it because I have set it to do a remix, which is not something I'll cover here. So I'll click submit. But what normally happens when you V-roll is it will just go ahead and enter the command to the bot. When you click here, you will see that it's waiting to start again. And now as it starts generating, it's at 0% right now and it's at 70% and it's done. So what happens now, it took this image and gave you different versions of this image, all of which I really like. I really like these magical ones. And since I like this one, I can go to jump and I can click U4 because this is the fourth one. Now that we have upscaled an image, how do you download it? You need to find the image that you upscaled. So I'm going to click on my inbox and scroll to the image and jump, click web. And then we ask, okay, they will, this link will take you to somewhere else. You wanna go there, just click, yep. It will take you back to the mid journey site. So you're probably thinking, oh, what's going on here? Don't panic yet. Just click on sign in and then say, yeah, okay, let's authorize. And when you authorize it, it will put you in here. This is, the mid journey site. And from here, you can click this icon to download. Now, if you click on home or you simply go to midjourney.com forward slash app, 
you will see a screen like this. This is like the holding spot for all the images that you've ever created. And the default screen you see is new and all. If you only want to see the grids that you created, you can click grids. And if you only want to see the upscales, you click upscales. And if you want to see all, just go back to all. If you want to download from here, it's super easy. Just hover over the image that you want to download, including these. You can also download the grids. Click on these three dots here and click save image. Easy as that. And you can create your own collections of different projects that you may be working on. And this, in a nutshell, is how to use Midjourney. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you next time.